This matrix is a building block matrix, both from top to bottom in the columns and from left to right in our rows. The most important thing to keep in mind is that similar components, when combined together, are going to cancel each other out or erase one another. And I'll show you what that looks like. If we combine these two elements, we need to look at what they have in common. This triangle, this line, and the outer pentagon. None of those shapes are present in the final third element, but what is present are the leftover shapes, the ones that they did not have in common. Okay, and the same is true when going to your rows. If we were to combine these two shapes, we need to take a look at what they have in common. This triangle, this, these two triangles, and what is left over is the pentagon and the line. So using that same logic, we can either, to get to our final answer, we can either add these two elements together or these two elements together. I will quickly show you both. These two elements don't have anything in common, so they are going to fully combine with one another. Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry, they do have one thing in common. This line right here. Everything else is going to stay, which will point us to answer choice B, because it has the pentagon and three triangles within it, right? Pentagon, three triangles. If we were to combine these two, Let's see if they have anything in common. They do not. So they would fully combine these two shapes, three triangles and a pentagon, which would also give us an answer choice of